Hello. On this episode, we're going to review basic lymphatic system anatomy and physiology. A good understanding of this can definitely help with diagnosis and actually treatment as well. And so keep in mind that the lymphatic system, there's three things. Number one, it maintains a fluid balance. Number two, it helps with the immune response. And three, it removes waste products. So to go over each one of those real briefly, fluid balance, it removes excessive fluid from your tissues back into the bloodstream. Very important. Without this, you have an accumulation of waste products in your skin and swelling. Immune defense. And then three, waste removal. It removes toxins and pathogens that your body doesn't need. So the system includes lymphatic vessels. And so just to quickly demonstrate, you have lymph capillaries, and this is where it absorbs the fluid from your tissue. Down to the lymph collectors. The lymph collectors carry lymph to the lymph node. It kind of resembles some of the veins because they have valves. And also, in addition to that, there's smooth muscle innervated by the autonomic nervous system. So there's a superficial and a deeper lymphatic system. We treat usually the superficial system. Here's an example of a normal lymphatic system. What we have here is the orange bucket indicates a tissue space where lymph fluid accumulates. Lymph consists of water, larger molecules like proteins and waste products that the lymphatic system is the only system responsible to remove it. So it will take, it will transport lymph fluid all the way to the venous angle or around the neck where it enters the bloodstream. So without the lymphatic system, you're not going to get this filtering of lymph fluid from the tissue space. So now you're going to have an accumulation of water, proteins, and waste products that are going to stay in the tissue. And this is where we get our swelling. So if a physician or a provider prescribes diuretics, that's not the standard treatment for lymphedema, which will only remove the water, but it will leave the proteins and also the waste products in the tissue space. This is where we need a certified lymphedema therapist.